It's definitely been a big topic for debate among Marvel Cinematic Universe fans, and now, let's talk about it. So Guardians of the Galaxy 3 finds itself in the most interesting position. With James Gunn, Bido Kamen not coming back, and Marvel Studios and Disney needing to decide what do they do next with the brand, things are going to get interesting to say the least. Um, you know, there's a couple possibilities on what you can really do. There's really two possibilities. One, you're moving forward without James Gunn and doing Guardians 3. <laughs> That's hard. I've already talked about the fact that James Gunn brings his own unique style and voice to the Guardians. Someone is not going to recapture that. So it's going to feel like a different third film. Look at how jarring Thor Ragnarok is compared to the first two. You know, it's different. Look at how different the Winter Soldier and Civil War are to the first Captain America movie, the first Avenger, because it was a different director and he was trying to tell more serialized style throwbacks. You know, and you look at Iron Man 3. Definitely shot, looked, and felt different because Shane Black. But this would be the most drastic because James Gunn put his soul into the Guardians franchise. On the other hand, you can cancel the movie. Now, realistically, is Disney going to cancel one of their biggest money makers? Mm -mm. That doesn't happen. So, what do you do? Well, realistically, they're going with step number one. And the movie's probably going to suffer greatly unless they get somebody so incredible with a completely different vision to tell the story. On the other hand, if you cancel it, what do you do? Because your cosmic universe, then the thing you've been building, the thing that Guardians 3 was going to kick off into the major cosmos, is now not happening. So all sorts of problems everywhere, and they find themselves backed up into the weirdest corner where you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. And that's honestly the biggest problem they're going to have here. What do they do and how do they move forward with it? And honestly, I'm fully expecting they're just going to replace a director and move on forward with it, and that's what we get. But is it still going to be the Guardians, though? And are people going to rally behind it? Because if you look at online how many people are not rallying behind Disney's decision, this could be a major blowback, and I don't think they want that.